Right now, China just rips us. They've taken our money, our jobs, our manufacturing. It's the greatest theft in the history of the world. I just don't like the communist owning anything in my hometown. China is in so many ways becoming what we sort of imagine ourselves to be. People go to China to get a glimpse of the future now when it comes to infrastructure and technology. And for us in the United States, that's threatening. There are some people in this country who would like to make China an enemy. It is the greatest opportunity lost that mankind has seen. We're not yet enemies. When we think about the one place that seems to be doing us better than we're doing us, it's them. And they are the number two economy in the world. They're doing their own movies, they're setting up their own Hollywood system. They're embracing the American dream. China is rapidly transforming with some 600 million consumers projected to come online in the next five to 10 years. Think about it. They will have a middle class that will be double the size of the entire United States. They want cell phones, they want cars, they want everything we want. We convince them to drink our cocktail. You've got these two countries that are in so many ways inextricably connected and yet are also deeply, philosophically, morally suspicious of each other. This is the exact wrong time to be picking a trade war with China. And the question is, how do we get past that suspicion? How do we get to a point where we acknowledge all the things that we have in common? Because we're only gonna be getting more integrated. And if we fail in that, then all of us suffer. If we are to clash, it would be a disaster for the whole world.